that. Dr. Krishna, please call Madhura, ma'am. Dr. Krishna, please Haan, call Madhura, ma'am. Madhura, ma'am, start karta hai. Okay. A warm welcome and fresh morning to everyone present in the today's lecture. Today, we will start Ayurveda Teacher Association Student Wing research methodology and medical statistic lecture second. First, I would like to invite Dr. Manoj Chaudhary sir, secretary of ATA for introduction of Ayurveda Teacher Association. Yeah, thank you. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. So for today's Ayurveda Teacher Association students we here we have a very eminent and great personality in research methodology and statistics. My friend, Dr. Mohan Joshi, sir, professor and HOD, Hilak Ayurved Mahavidyalaya Pune. ATS Students Wing President, Dr. Krishna Devkar, sir, and the other ATA Student Wing team members, founder members, life members. A warm welcome, all of you the scholars, UG and PG scholars who have joined from all over India. And this lecture will be live on YouTube also. So here I am as a national secretary, I will share you aims and objects of Ayurveda Teacher Association. So our main aim is to unite, organize the Ayurveda teachers from all over India, from all sectors such as private, government, aided, government colleges and to provide a mean for expression of their collective opinion on matters affecting the interest of Ayurveda education and of Ayurveda teaching profession. So on behalf of Ayurveda Teacher Association, I welcome all of you. So here we are to promote the interest of Ayurveda education and to provide equal Ayurveda education to all admitted students in all over India. We are working over it. So this is the continuous efforts regarding uh, orientation in all fields of Ayurveda, such as subject-wise teaching also. And there is always thirst for this research methodology and medical statistics among the students. So without wasting time, I will congratulate all ATA student wing to organize such a nice activity and i welcome again also today's eminent speaker dr mohan joshi sir thank you thank you over to you madhra ma'am thank you sir now i would like to invite our today's chief guest and speaker dr mohan joshi sir before starting the lecture i would like to give a short introduction of dr mohan joshi sir he has accomplished a lot in just short period of time but due to shortage of time let me highlight few of his accomplishments out of many. Dr. Mohan Joshi sir has completed his BMS MD in Sahita subject, MBA in marketing, MA in Sanskrit from Pune University, PhD from Nashik University and fellowship in Foundation of Advancement of International Medical Education and Research. He is currently working as a professor in Department of Sanskrit, Samhita Siddhant in Tirak Ayurved Mahavidyalaya Pune. Since 2008, he has published an 18 review article in National Seminar CD and two books and nine articles in peer review journal. He has 16 years teaching experience for UG student and 11 years teaching experience for PG student. 
more than 40 guest lecture in workshop and seminar technology handling three mobile apps three self learning modules six rotp study cd coordinator committee member of 13 plus national and international scientific seminars managed ayurvedic pharmacy as production in charge for one year ayurved clinical practice and panchakarma for eight years got gunwanta vidyarthi award in 2012 and vaidya mv kolatkar award for research in ayurved in 2016 he is living inspiration to everyone thank you sir for taking out your valuable time for us now i request dr mohan joshi sir to begin today's lecture and enlighten us Thank you. Thank you, Madhura ma'am. And uh, thank you, Manoj sir. Uh, thank you, ADSL and organizers for inviting me for this session. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, very much thankful. Uh, I'll prefer, due to low connectivity, I'll prefer to keep my uh, mobile camera off. And uh, But uh, changing the train is always good for everyone. So instead of the passive listeners in the early morning or say early hours of uh, Sunday morning, uh, I want all of you to come together and discuss the things. Uh, is it okay, Monod sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are the uh, I just wanted to know that are you all with me or just logged in? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Show some reactions. No chat. Okay, I can see one raised hand. Two, five, three, four. A few here as well. Okay, so only five, six. Where are others? In the gallery view also, I can see only six hands raised out of 25. A few cameras scrolling in, scrolling out. Okay, let it be. So let's start. Though you haven't raised hand, I want you to come and discuss. Unless we discuss, unless we uh, interact, there will not be more retention or more concept clear uh, understanding of clear concepts. So we'll take this opportunity. This is not a routine class. So we don't have a, a structure or objective to complete this much of syllabus in this much of time. So we can have a good interaction. You can solve your doubts. You can have your questions with me and uh, uh, keep this session as a, a bit uh, unofficial. Uh, Madhuram, ma'am, can you please make me host so that I can share? Okay. Uh, though the by the time the screen is enabled, may I ask you the question: Why we do research? What exactly is research? Yes, sir. Please make Dr. Joshi sir as a host. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay. No questions coming up. No interaction going on. Okay. Let me share you a story with all of you. A story of... Uh, few students like you who uh, were in final year or even less of third year, they wanted to know something, probably the second year students, and they went for the excursion. Have you visited excursions? Dravya Guna excursion? Probably yes. Okay, some of you need to unmute and keep on discussing the things so that uh, I will understand that uh, my voice is clearly 
reaching to you because all cameras are off okay so these students who were on the excursion they suddenly noticed that there were some tribal students or tribes who were using the certain herbs they were picking up the certain herbs when they asked what they are and what they are using for they came up with a very interesting answers and this particular observation generated a interest in the mind of the student that what exactly is this herb same was the question is it explained in ayurveda being the students of ayurveda this always remains the question with us is it explained in ayurveda and if it is explained what is the name of the drug in ayurveda and does it have the same action does it have the same uh, karma or karmukatva explained in ayurveda based on this understanding they started they started their journey first they pick up some plants they came back to college discussed showed these plants to their teachers the teachers were also unaware just looking at the plant which was collected two days away which was, which is already becoming dry it wasn't possible so probably they again uh, communicated with the botany people and they again have they again have the interaction they again have the interactions with them and based on that interactions they again collected the plant showed it to the botany people showed it to other people and gradually they came to know what the plant was what the exact contents of the plant was then they went for the chemical analysis after the chemical analysis they got the confirm idea they visited libraries lazarus databases and collected what kind of research was available for that particular plant and after that they decided to go for animal experimentation so they conducted animal experiments finally clinical experiments and now they have the plant which is with a different indication available which is clinically tested as a output product so can we guess what kind of things are done with a single thing what was that a good observation a good observation which was done by the student which actually took them to a question or series of questions so what is the most important component for the preparing the question as my title is research question sir i am still waiting uh, for the host permission हेलो मधुरा मैडम मनोज सर हाँ यस सर यस सर ओके तो हैव यू कैन एनीबडी रिस्पॉन्ड हैव यू रिसीव दिस स्टोरी व्हाट वेर द कंपोनेंट्स फर्स्ट द ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ दैट प्लान सेकंड the series of events which actually followed the literary research drug research preclinical research followed by clinical research and finally publication and after publication the excitement joy that was observed by the students and all doing the research so ultimate goal of the research is to know something to know something which is actually not known to discover something but it all started with a firm thing that is observation so even if you notice and go back it may be the falling apple from the tree first it was the observation which leads to question and this question is most important so un unless we have a question we cannot go ahead and uh, conduct any kind of uh, 
observations uh, any uh, unless we have a good question we cannot go ahead so research problem is most important this is the uh, actually interesting thing that unless we have a research problem how we can go ahead how we can uh, share something with other how we can decide the course of action how we can go ahead and find out what we are going to do so research question is the most important uh, factor uh, before going ahead and before planning the further studies so unless we frame our question in a precise manner how we are going to go ahead so why research question is a clear thing that this is actually the platform or the base of the entire research unless we have a precise research question we cannot go ahead so are there any types of questions research questions yes can anybody ask few of the questions can we discuss few of the questions hello can we discuss few of the questions any question may be related to ayurveda may not be related to ayurveda can something be question okay it seems that i am not reaching up to you okay i'll keep on continually discussing the things but probably uh, i'm not sure whether you are with me and whether you are receiving okay sir please go ahead and try sharing now okay uh, is it visible now no sir it's not visible it's not visible okay is it visible now yes sir yes sir yes sir okay so i think the few of the slides yes. are already few of the slides of the story are already gone but okay what is question that we have seen but why question and how to how it is different from the research problem okay so is the research problem and research question same yes probably yes it is a phase so i was asking you are, do we have any research questions can you share few research question with me the question can be of any type it may be real questions it may not be real questions maybe hypothetical questions maybe questions related to some others can you come up with some questions hello i can see 45 students around this is not a class you can come up with questions no problem okay see research question we have many types of research as discussed it may be a literary it may be a, a preclinical it may be a clinical it may be any other kind of studies unless we decide that our observation will take us to the question and this question itself is more important to decide what we are going to next what we are going to do next the question itself will explain us that what kind of study we need to choose i was thinking that i will receive some of the questions and so that we can discuss okay okay all are muted can't allow them to unmute okay that way you can just type in the type in the chat box fine 
So by the time I receive the question in the chat box, I will move ahead. The question will actually decide. Suppose the question is very simple. Consider that I want, I have many Samhitas with me. And my question is, what kind of work or what kind of message related to particular thing is explained across the Samhitas? If I want to find this, my scope of the study will remain up to the Samhita search, compilation of the material. After compilation, appropriate classification of the material. And after classification, then critical thinking on the matter. And after critical thinking, I can go for the conclusions. So probably my methodology will remain to the literary study, which is the collection, compilation, comparison, critical thinking and classification. And finally, the conclusions, drawing the conclusions. So my question itself now helps me understand that what I'm going to do. Probably if I want to know something that whether the relation between this and that exist, for example, when we are, when I'm going through Samhitas, I have understood one thing that this is explained as na naktam dadi bunji, the curd should not be consumed in the evening time. Can this be a research question? Yes or no? Yes. Many people have worked on this. But the question itself indicates that this can be, if I want to find out that who has worked on this, I will go for the literature search. I will collect the material, compile the material, and then probably classify and come out with understanding that what work is already done on this and it can be a meta-analysis, a literary kind of thing. So my question will decide what kind of work we are doing. If I want to go for the animal experimentation, is it possible with this question? Probably yes. If I want to go for, uh, go to find the association between the two things, yes. It is also possible because we have two clear variables. One is curd, consumption of curd, and second, its effects. So are the effects explained directly? If the effects are directly explained, whether I'm going for confirmation of those, if I'm going for the confirmation of those results, that means I know what is the causative factor. I know what is the effect. And I am just going for the confirmation that whether this cause creates this kind of effects. This way, I have two variables here, two clear variables and association between the two variables I want to check. Then I can go for these kind of studies. It may be the observation from cause to effect or effect to cause, or a single study which will help me understand the cause-effect relationship. From cause to effect, we may go for cohort kind of studies. From effect to cause, we may go for case control kind of studies. And if we have, and if we have to understand in a single way of study, the cause-effect relationship, then we can go for cross-sectional kind of studies. So question itself helps us to define. So this is a different way of understanding. What we want to achieve is different, but what our question is different. So now you must have realized observation, based on observation, we are framing a broad question first. So it's a vague question and we have to precisely cut it down and convert that question into a research problem. So when I ask the question whether the study question and the research problem is same, probably question is a broader thing and refined form it form of it is a research problem. So question can be a broader one of which we are choosing or narrowing down 
it to a further thing based on our observations based on our requirement based on our need based on our plan of study what exactly will be performed in this particular study because doing everything in a common study is not possible doing everything which will give the clear idea of all the things is not possible we have the constraints constraints of time constraints of money constraints of human hours constraints of many kind of constraints so based on these constraints we have to decide okay so i can see something in the chat box uh, is it a question okay sorry no question asked in the chat box so we will continue we will continue here okay so what is how it is different so we have seen this types of study qualitative and quantitative so do we have a, a reflection on the research question about the study types definitely our question will decide our question will explain that which kind of study we are expecting if we are going for qualitative understanding then the questions are of different kind quantitative understanding the questions are of different kind if we want to go and find out that is not explored at all before likewise suppose i want to know the opinion of opinion of the individuals regarding a particular question and i am going to the society and asking the question to the masses and probably trying to find out what they feel what they understand what they think about the particular question so probably i am going for a open ended survey or i am going for a qualitative question which will be explored by me with the form of descriptive studies so my nature of question will decide whether i am going for descriptive studies or analytical studies or experimental studies quantitative studies it is simple that we have two variables we have to decide the relation between the two variables and then based on the relation we will decide that this much will be the required sample and based on that sample we will go for the survey or go for the experimentation we'll generate the data and just conclude the things that yes it exists yeah. so wow. this is a deductive kind of thing and first is the exploratory or descriptive kind of work for descriptive kind of studies we may have a open ended or a broad question which will keep on exploring which will give many opportunities for understanding something that we don't know can be explored here something that we don't know can be understood here for example nahi pata if we are going for uh, a single question which is explained or which is not huh? explained in our samhitas and we are trying Nahi to find it. then it is quite possible to discuss or it is quite possible to understand this with the help of exploratory studies wow. and the question for this will be uh, can you meet mute please thank you then we can go for this kind of studies again types of observation and intervention so based on our uh, studies question will decide that whether we want a observational study or interventional study do this medicine act on this condition will go for experimental study and how much is the percentage how much is the ratio how much is the proportion how much is the uh, relation that we find that we are trying to find out then we can go for observational studies so based on the observational and interventional we have to decide our questions will actually take us that which kind of study we are going to perform so research questions are again of type primary research question and secondary research question so here we are going for pico format or picot format 
even for the question we are going for this format first is the population population intended population we may go for the disease itself so what is the disease or what is the condition or what is the further disease condition then we can go for the patient what kind of patient we are looking for what is the intended population that we are looking for here again we can go for samhitas if we are going for literary study we will think of samhitas are we going to use one samhita two samhitas three samhitas commentaries or specific other books so probably if we are trying to find out something related to books exploring the books understanding books comparing books it is also the same it should come in the research question it should come in the research question so when we are framing a research question we have to decide that what is our exact object on what thing we are working is it a condition is it a population is it a patient is it a samhita it is a book next what exactly we are doing is it a intervention or is it a exposure okay so it is it is just a observation or intervention that we have to decide and that should come in our research question primary research question then whether it will be performed on a single group or multiple groups we are going to involve for example if we want to check the uh, if we want to check the effects of drug a on condition d so our question can be what is the effect of condition a on question uh, on Uh, disease D, but if we have two groups, again we want we are going for checking that what is the relation between group A on disease D in comparison with either healthy volunteers or some other disease or with some other medicine. So what in any condition we can use or we can take this opportunity to explain. you what is our primary question are we going for one to one one drug one disease or two drugs one disease or one drug two disease or two drug two disease it should come here and outcome outcome where we are going to assess where we are going to assess okay i have received a message that uh, from one of the student that please use marathi or hindi language can i take a poll here how many of you couldn't understand marathi you can you are muted i can understand but you can show the reactions you can at least uh, write in the chat you can show the thumbs or yes no upper thumb lower thumb in the chat box देखने खुल रहा है क्या यूज हिंदी लैंग्वेज आई एम कंफर्टेबल इन इन ऑफ द लैंग्वेजेस बट इफ यू वॉन्ट आई विल बी हैप्पी स्पीकिंग इन मराठी एंड हिंदी नो प्रॉब्लम नॉट दैट गुड इन हिंदी बट मराठी एनी टाइम okay so please bear with my hindi because it's not good you can understand uh, all participant comfortable in hindi so i'll go for hindi so primary research question jahan hum soch rahe hain to primary research question mein kaun kaun si cheeze aana must kaun kaun si cheeze aani chahiye kaun kaun si things should be included in the primary research question तो इतना सिंपल है तो एक क्वेश्चन अगर बनता है तो क्वेश्चन वाई से बनता है उसमें ये चीज आनी चाहिए कि एक पॉपुलेशन जैसे कौन सा डिसीज है डिसीज कंडीशन क्या है अगर पेशेंट के बारे में बोल रहे हैं तो पेशेंट कौन सा है संहिता के बारे में बोल रहे हैं तो संहिता कौन सी है चरक है सुश्रुत है वागभट है बुक्स है अगर निगंटू के बारे में काम कर रहे हैं या रसत्न समुच्चय पे काम कर रहे हैं तो बुक्स आने चाहिए दैट्स वाई क्या कर रहे हैं किस पे काम कर रहे हैं दैट शुड बी इंक्लूडेड इन द रिसर्च क्वेश्चन 
इंटरवेंशन और एक्सपोजर कि क्या कर रहे हैं दवाई दे रहे हैं या देख रहे हैं ऑब्जर्व कर रहे हैं या एक्चुअली कोई इंटरवेंशन कर रहे हैं या कोई दवाई दे रहे हैं या फिर एक्सटर्नल एप्लीकेशन है इंटरनल एप्लीकेशन है जो भी है वी हैव टू डिसाइड कंपैरिजन ग्रुप एक ही ग्रुप में काम कर रहे हैं एक दवा और एक डिसीज या फिर दो दवा एक डिसीज या फिर दो दवा दो डिसीज या फिर दो अलग अलग ग्रुप में एक ग्रुप को एक दवा दूसरे ग्रुप को दूसरी दवा ऐसा दे रहे हैं दैट शुड बी क्लियरली स्पेसिफाइड आउटकम आउटकम इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कैसे देख रहे हैं कहां पे देख रहे हैं आउटकम कैसे सोचेंगे सो आउटकम यानी क्यूअर नहीं है आउटकम यानी क्यूअर नहीं है हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एसेस ये देखना है कैन आई आज का क्वेश्चन आउटकम कैसे देखते हैं अगर किसी को हिमाटेनिक uh, दे रहे हैं आयन ब्लड ने बढ़ने के लिए दवाई दे रहे हैं तो आउटकम कैसे नोट करेंगे चलो इससे भी सिंपल ले लेते हैं कि वेट कम करने के लिए दवाई दे रहे हैं तो आउटकम किस पे जाएगा वेट पे ही जाएगा कि वेट कितना कम हुआ है दैट इज आवर आउटकम सो सिमिलरली आउटकम कैन बी मेजर्ड आउटकम कैन बी रिटर्न हियर कि एक ड्रग और पेशेंट और समिता और बुक एक्सपोजर क्या कर रहे हैं थर्ड कंपेरिजन है अगर है तो ही लिखना है नहीं है तो नहीं लिखना है आउटकम किस चीज पे आउटकम देख रहे हैं और टाइम रिलेशन अगर हो तो वो भी लिख सकते हैं प्राइमरी आउटकम अगर शुगर पे देख रहे हैं इफ यू वांट टू लोअर द ब्लड शुगर वी कैन गो फॉर आइदर ब्लड शुगर लेवल और वी कैन गो फॉर जीटीटी और वी कैन गो फॉर एच बी एवं सी एनीथिंग सो प्राइमरी रिसर्च क्वेश्चन में ये सारी चीजें आनी चाहिए so up till now we were just thinking that question is a question but question in a broader form is the most important thing it will take us to probably all the factors sari cheeze isi pe aake ultimately cover ho jati hai ki kaha jayega study kaha jayega kaun se type ka study hoga kya karna hai methodology kya ban sakti hai is pe aage jaake isi research question ko जब हम किसी और फॉर्मेट में लिखते हैं तो वो हाइपोथेसिस बन जाएगा ओके बिफोर दैट वी नीड टू चेक कि रिसर्च क्वेश्चन हमारा सही बना है या नहीं इसके लिए ये एक स्केल लगाया है स्केल कहते हैं तो बहुत बड़ा लगता है लेकिन दीज आर द पॉइंट्स एंड द इनिशियल और द एब्रीवेशन इज फाइनल सो वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग फॉर द क्वेश्चन वी आर रिफाइनिंग द क्वेश्चन वी कैन गो फॉर फिजिबिलिटी कि कर सकते हैं नहीं कर सकते होगा नहीं होगा फिजिबल है नहीं है इंटरेस्टिंग तो इंटरेस्टिंग तो होना चाहिए जो भी किया है फॉर द सेक ऑफ डूइंग इट अगेन वो करना कुछ ना रिसर्चर के इंटरेस्ट में है ना स्टूडेंट के इंटरेस्ट में है तो इंटरेस्टिंग इज द वन ऑफ द फैक्टर नॉवेल अगर कुछ नया हो तो ही दैट विल बेनिफिट देन एंड देन इट विल बेनिफिट द सोसाइटी तो नॉवेल तो होना ही चाहिए इथिकल दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर कि जो हम कर रहे हैं वो एक्चुअली इथिकल है या नहीं इथिकल हो तो ही हमें करना है इथिकल ना हो तो नहीं कर सकते और रिलेवेंट जो भी हमारा उद्देश्य है उससे रिलेवेंट है या नहीं इफ यू आर मेडिकल साइंस स्टूडेंट टू डेवलप टू गिव द बेटर केयर टू बी टू गिव द बेटर क्योर इज एक्चुअल इंटेंशन तो उस पर भी देख सकते हैं कि इज इट रिलेवेंट टू दैट पर्टिकुलर रिसर्च क्वेश्चन इज इट रिलेवेंट टू द कंडीशन हम ऐसा नहीं कर सकते कि जो ऑलरेडी हो गया है जिस पे काम करने की बिल्कुल ही जरूरत नहीं है उस पर काम कर रहे ठीक है यानी वी इफ वी वांट टू डेवलप सम न्यू मेडिसिन फॉर द डिसीज दैट इज ऑलरेडी एक्सटेंट पोलियो पे दवाई बना रहे हैं पोलियो तो खत्म हो गया उस पर दवाई बनाने की जरूरत है बिल्कुल नहीं है इसीलिए रिलेवेंस इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड सोशली रिलेवेंट इट इज द सब फॉर्म ऑफ द रिलेवेंट सो फाइनल स्केल इज यूज देर आर मेनी टाइप ऑफ सर्च स्क्वेल्स हाइपोथिस वी आर गोइंग टू दिस वेरी फनी टर्म कॉल्ड एज हाइपोथिस लगता है कि कुछ डिफरेंट है बट एक्चुअली डिफरेंट कुछ नहीं है देर आर टू वेज टू अंडरस्टैंड हाइपोथिस हाइपोथिस इज जस्ट अ स्टेटमेंट hypothesis is a complete statement which will give us a better idea 
that what will be the outcome of this work or outcome of the study study pura karne ke baad hum kahan pahunchenge ye output hame chahiye to output yahan pe aa jata hai in the terms of hypothesis hypothesis kya hai ek simple line which will explain about all the above factors plus what will be the aim target okay in uh, ayurved we have seen that there are uh, in uh, anuman praman it is explained with pancha avayavi vakya we have seen this five steps which are which were those five steps pratidnya hetu udaharana upanaya nigamana okay pratidnya hetu udaharana upanaya nigamana so we have seen this what was the pratidnya parvato van niman parvat pe vanni hai was the pratidnya धूम अवतवात धूम दिख रहा है इसलिए ये हेतु था उदाहरण जहां जहां धूम है वह वह वन्नी है ये उदाहरण हो गया उसका एक उदाहरण दे गया जैसे महान साहब जैसे किचन में रहता है नेक्स्ट तथा चायम यहां भी वैसे ही है एंड फाइनली तस्मात तथा सो तस्मात तथा इज निगमनम दैट इज कंक्लूजन So, ये जो पांच लाइंस हमने देखे इसी तरह पे ऑल द थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू रिसर्च आर बेस्ड ऑन दिस सो फर्स्ट इज प्रतिज्ञा सो हाइपोथिस कैन बी अ काइंड ऑफ प्रतिज्ञा व्हिच इज व्हाट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंक्लूजन एंड हाइपोथिस कंक्लूजन इज समथिंग व्हिच इज प्रूव्ड इट इज कमिंग एट द एंड बट व्हाट इज हाइपोथिस इट इज नॉट प्रूव्ड येट बट इट इज द सेम स्टेटमेंट सेम स्टेटमेंट so we were starting we are starting with a hypothesis there is a relation so if we are choosing a hypothesis and we have seen there are so many factors in the study question itself like patient intervention comparator outcome and again uh, the time relation or relevance or uh, last factor so as we have seen these many factors uh, in a research question primary research question now we have to take almost all of them here and the hypothesis that it will explain the relation between the two variables the relation in terms of whatever we have stated in the question that will directly reflect here suppose <coughs> we are doing a clinical study effect of drug a on disease d so what will be the outcome that drug a will reduce the symptoms of disease d so this is the final outcome that we are looking for so this outcome we need to measure we need to count so giving it a measurable form will lead us to use the statistical methods so hypothesis we can write in two ways one a general hypothesis which will convey and second a testable hypothesis a testable hypothesis that will actually help will give us the opportunity to use the mathematical process to test the hypothesis and that part will be covered in the last part whenever you will uh, come across the uh, statistical methods after statistical methods testing of hypothesis is a special part where we are using various test to decide whether we have we are accepting this hypothesis or rejecting this hypothesis in a simple term hypothesis is a statement do you remember how we used to prove the hypothesis when we were uh, proving some theorems or statement in the 11th and 12th can anybody come up with the example can anybody come up with any examples okay so i'll i'll just make you uh, help you remember that there was a question that uh, tan theta is equal to 1 prove tan theta is equal to 1 how we used to do that so it's quite simple 
it was quite simple we used to take a complete opposite statement of that that this is not equal to 1 and after that we were going for uh, after that we were going for uh, proving the statement but we were not proving the actual statement we used to prove or reject the second statement and this is the process that we are going to do while doing the hypothesis testing okay so hypothesis should be clear precise it should state the relation between or relation between the two variables okay so there are many 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 factors so first the actual thing is called as hypothesis of no difference is called as null hypothesis and hypothesis that we stay as there is a difference called as alternative hypothesis so a clearly stated reflects relation between the variables dependent and independent so we need to understand the two variables for this first is uh, dependent variable and independent variable so one is aadhar and one is adheya dependent independent jo kisi pe dependent nahi hai aur dependent jo independent pe dependent hai so jiska jis pe prabhav hai based on that we are stating this independent and uh, dependent variable so ye agar samajh mein aa jaye so that will help so probably uh, last point last point was the objectives primary objectives and uh, secondary objectives so aims and objectives that remains the most important part and when we write the objectives initially we called we used to call them as aims and gradually the objectives sub steps but now we have changed the terminology as primary objective and secondary objectives so primary objectives and secondary objectives they will reflect in this question itself so it is the same it is the same just excuse me for a while हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो यस यस सो गोइंग अहेड विथ ऑब्जेक्टिव सो प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड सेकेंडरी ऑब्जेक्टिव तो सिमिलर टू द हाइपोथिस वी हैव टू डिसाइड व्हाट इज आवर primary objective and what is our secondary objective so whenever we are planning a literary study so most important thing uh, one thing um, that we have seen related to hypothesis that there are two types of studies so as we decide there are two types of studies one 
is hypothesis generating studies so descriptive type of studies are called as hypothesis generating studies where we are not trying to prove anything we are not trying to prove the hypothesis we are trying to generate a hypothesis so hypothesis generating studies uh, at that particular instant we don't require to write a hypothesis so even the guidelines given by the universities as well as uh, uh, other institutes they say that these hypothesis generating studies literary studies descriptive studies exploratory studies no need to specify the hypothesis because we are going to generate the hypothesis probably it's a open ended data we are going for surveys we are going for focus group discussions we are going for uh, other type of um, data collection methods whether where we will collect the data analyze the data and probably some observations some indications some correlations will come up from that uh, explore study or descriptive study and probably they will be used by other researchers for concluding the different kind of studies which may be uh, stating the relation between two variables and there we need to state the hypothesis so for the exploratory studies no hypothesis is required so what are the types of exploratory studies all the studies probably related to samitas descriptive studies or literary studies they are exploratory studies so no need of hypothesis some kind of observational studies where we are exploring the properties of the drugs they are also exploratory studies so no need of hypothesis only for the analytical studies that means where we have a relation between cause and effect so cause and effect relationship as a observation uh, do uh, hair fall occurs with uh, more consumption of salt okay madura uh, amla lavana rasa dikya sevan se uh, pitta ruddhi hoti hai pitta ruddhi se khalitya palitya ho sakta hai so considering that if we are going for uh, do khalitya palitya is the pitta ruddhi causative factor is the amla guna causative factor is the lavana guna causative factor so these are the actually case control types of studies where we are going for uh, uh, case control type of studies where we are going to find or prove or uh, try to analyze the relation between two variables and at that place we will decide this is hypothesis testing is required so probably hypothesis is there and we are going to test but for exploratory studies no need of hypothesis now going ahead with the objectives similar to the question we have converted this question to hypothesis and from hypothesis we will write the primary objectives as well as the secondary objectives whatever is the first and foremost relation between the two variables that we are going to see we will write it as a primary objective and the other things that may be required or may be useful or may come up as a part of the study we are going to write in the secondary objectives for example if we are working on the clinical trial if we are going conducting a experimental study if we are giving the drug to a specific disease then in that drug in that process hello please mute in that process that process there may be other findings there may be the other observations so if we are going for a drug trial while doing the drug trial we may come across some uh, side effects of that drug that we can record 
or that may come as a additional observations or secondary objectives we can prepare the drug we can differentiate we can prepare the different types of formulations or we can compare uh, variations that may also be noted as the secondary objective of the study so primary objective is just the relationship what we stated in the question what we confirmed in the alternative hypothesis that will reflect in the primary objective so if we are doing a study on one drug one disease probably our primary objective is clear but if we are doing a study on we are trying to an analyze the difference between the two separate drugs on a single disease condition at that time our objective probably is to find out what is the difference and that should be clearly stated here in the primary objective here to analyze or to understand the effect of two separate drugs can be the secondary objective but we should not mention because unless we go for uh, primary of uh, unless we go for individual drug results we cannot compare them so it is understood so most of the times this is the key factor that some of the things which come already in the process of doing the higher work like collecting the data so that is something that we need to do unless we collect the data we cannot go for um, classification of data analysis of the data and then conclusion draw conclusion amongst the data so if we are uh, clearly stating that our primary objective is to find the difference between the two data sets then collection compilation classification these remains the step which should not be mentioned as the secondary objectives because they are the part of achieving the primary objectives so secondary objectives for any any uh, work can be other than that other than the objective observations or secondary objectives or secondary questions as we have seen we have a primary question there may be secondary questions primary hypothesis there may be secondary hypothesis tertiary hypothesis similar to that compared to them similar kind of primary objectives and then secondary objectives are available okay i think with too much of uh, disturbance we have covered this and uh, i'm sorry uh, because some of the parts of the slides are still missing sometimes they are visible sometimes they are not visible due to uh, this uh, technical glitch uh, over to you madhura ma'am ओके सर अगर किसी स्टूडेंट को क्वेश्चन आंसर करना हो तो हम कर सकते हैं ओके सर थैंक यू डॉक्टर मोहन जोशी सर फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग सच अ इंफॉर्मेटिव नॉलेज ऑन रिसर्च स्टैटिस्टिक it is a new subject for medical students especially for bms fourth year student and pg first year student but it is necessary just like all other subject we were able to grasp the basics the knowledge we gained today will surely help us in building the foundation of our career and last i would like to propose big thanks of dr krishna devkar sir dr gaurav savarkar sir dr manoj Ch uh, choudhary sir Dr Rahul Suryanshi sir for organizing this informative and knowledgeable session thank you